Right, welcome back to another episode. Um, up early in the morning, skirt's been delivered. Plastering's, the plants are drying out okay. Needs a little bit of a feathering with the um, sander. What I've done now, um, I'm getting a bit fed up, kid taping the door shut, the door's a bit bowed, it's an old, it's gonna be replaced, so I'll put a screw through the door so it's not a solid back, stop any dust. I've connected, got them tight, I'll tighten the hoover, emptied it out, and I've, I've had to bodge that, like that. Hopefully that'll do the job, I can sand the whole room then. I'm getting fed up with the dust going everywhere. Um, it's, it's awful, so hopefully put the hoover on, put that sand on, I'm gonna go, I wasn't gonna go on the top edge, but I'm gonna do it a wall at a time, wall at a time, all the time. Once the sand is done, filled a little bit more and then hand sand, clear the room out, ready to paint it. I just, this bit, the prepping is, is the shitty bit really, the crappy bit. So also, because I've got the door screwed back, I'll show you, because I've got the door, because I've got the door screwed right back, it also means I can sand this wood there, get this paint off, I ain't got time to burn that off, and then go right on the top, work right on, a little bit of filling there, which come off of the tape. So I'm leaving the screw there now to fit, fit that door in. Right on the top edge, back of the walls, back of the whole wall, all the way around. A little bit of easy feel and start cleaning the room out. I've got my plumbing kit up here, I've got chisels up here ready to do the floorboards and the joists for the pipe work. I've got my paint, I'll get a paint and ceiling paint today. So um, let's crack on. Um, have a little go out and see how this works, shall we? Tip, when you're using tight movers, make sure you've got a pipe in the, um, the suck of it, not the blow bit, okay? Because like blowing out, not sucking. Nightmare. <laughs> That's the start again. That's working really well, so I'm going to switch the camera off now, leave me to it. You've done the same sound of this all bleeding morning. Catch you in a minute. as well with um, a scraper, like a floor scraper, a small wall floor scraper. Take the top edge off. It's going to take a little while to get that adhesive off, so um, it's working. Just got to keep changing discs. Um, that's a P, that's an 80, 80 grit at the moment, so I'm not sure if you're aware, but like, the higher the number, the finer the grit. So you've got 60, 40, 60, 80, but you've got like, with a rough grit, so 80 is like quite rough. Taking that off, that's good. That's, Got to do it all the way around, that was quite a good thing. Plenty of adhesive that's causing a bit of a pain. Um, uh, 120 is quite a common grip, really fine, but that 80 is doing fine. Don't forget they wear as well, so they get a bit fine. So I'm going to crack on, leave me to it all the way around the room. It's going to take a little while, but it's come up nice. I've well, blended it in nice there, I think. And I'm going to do it all the way along um, so that it doesn't show through a paint, hopefully. I'm above the kitchen and I can smell. I think I can smell bacon. Alexa, drop in on kitchen. Okay, dropping in. Hello? Jill? Anybody there? What are you up to? Doing a bacon sandwich? Happy days. Shall I pop down for that in a minute? Shall I pop down now for it? Right, just do a bit more, I'll be down in five minutes. Alright, bye. Alexa, stop. Happy days. That's why I'm all done. Alexa, stop Right, breakfast is ready. Shoot down to a bit of bar tweet. One wall done, failing the top edge, all the way down the face, I've sanded the whole wall. And that's been pre-filled all the way to that wall with easy fill. Um, that's it, that's done that wall. Please now. Next wall, and then with the reels in the back wall. So I'll catch you when I've completed all the walls. Um, that went really well. And that hoover, brilliant. Attach a hoover to your sand or whatever you do. And it, it, my son said that, once you get a hoover attached to it, no dust whatsoever. Makes it almost makes it a pleasure. So the good news or the bad news? Good news is the battery's flat on my uh, on the coolest gear on the sand. So um, and there's only one light up on the other battery, and I've got to use that drill to get myself out of the, out the door. 
So, um, sweat. Tea break time. Shower, change, watch the old tour, the tour of England. Tour of Britain, tour of Britain. Go on to tour of Britain, take some video clips, and I'll link that above. And then um, let the batteries charge up, have a bit of a rest, a bit of a chill out time. I'll be back. I'll stand here one, two, and on the third, I'll be third wall. The one with the window reveal, so I've got to do it. done the top half, so I'll do the bottom half. Go up on the last wall. Then I'm going to go back and fill a few little bits. There's a few marks here and there. I'm going to fill a few bits with some easy fill. Let me off, sand it again, start hanging the ceiling. Happy days getting there. I'll dust shoot this up, take some tools down I don't need, and um, I might scrape up the floor again and uh, get two cups of soothing this afternoon, hopefully, and then might go for a pint. Well, we went out for, well, we didn't go out for lunch. There's one pint. And watch the old tour of Britain. I'll put a link up here somewhere. That's fantastic, it was. Come over the bridge where we went back to the bridge. Watch that, film that, and then I've done a video, a few photographs. Fantastic. Um, back now, finished down all the walls. It is, I can't get something hot, but it is bloody, bloody. It's got to be the hottest September on earth. Yeah, it is September, isn't it? Jesus. On, on record, not on earth. <laughs> uh, I've sanded all the walls all the way around. There's still a few gaps, bits and bobs that won't fill in on the walls, but I'm just going to get two coats on the ceiling. So I'm going to run around with a brush, cut it in, and then hopefully roll it two coats. Paint's a bit old, it's the stuff we had from. Uh, uh, a year or so ago, doing the ceilings downstairs in the in the uh, lounge and hallway, etc. So I'm hoping it'll be alright. So I'm gonna sort of put everything in the middle because I just kicked the bucket of water over. She was shouting up, we've got a leak, we've got a leak, and it's not a leak, it's a bucket of water tipped over. But anyway, whatever. I just want to get on this, get the ceiling coated, get some paint on the walls, let's make it look good. So let's grab the old paintbrush in a minute, I'm just gonna cut in. Grab the paintbrush a minute, just going to cut in around the top edges and then hopefully roll it. It looks a bit, don't look like non drip stuff, it looks like is that stuff that you put on bare plaster, fresh plaster, so we'll see how we get on. Biggest, biggest brush, I don't know where my emulsion brush is, it's in the shed, so the biggest brush I can find is this bloody thing. What's that, inch and a half? Doesn't matter, I'm just going to cut in through the wall, obviously the roller won't reach the corners, so I'm just going to put a quick, quick one coat. Now, yeah, the top edge there and there. That's all I want to do really, mainly on the ceiling and the bed plaster. I didn't get the roller out. And do the rest of it. I'm looking forward to getting this roll actually, we've got a roll on it, right up the middle, nice two coats.
so I've got one coat. I mean, it's going to be at least another coat, or two coats rather, at least another, or maybe two coats, three coats in all. Um, getting there is a slow, arduous job. The walls are easier, I don't know about the wall, the walls are going to fly by, but it's, it is warm. Um, I just want to get the one coat on the ceiling, pack my stuff away, and it's going to be a nice cold pint, I think. Get up early tomorrow and do this. Probably if we had that tall written thing interrupts the day, so um, it's cooling out a bit now, but I'll go and have a nice cold beer. In the morning, I'll get up early, get another cold on the wall. And then, then a little bit of filling on the wall, and then start painting the walls, and it's a home. Hopefully, it starts getting easier and easier. The moment it's bloody hard work. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'll probably see you in the morning when I do the second coat. Right, it's all about me being sucked this. Um, it is hot. Let's put a shirt on it. So it's sweat up. Um, obviously, you don't want to see me sweaty hot, so I'm not going to sort of film this bit, but I've done two coats. Another coat this morning on the ceiling. Another coat of white. It looks alright, that'll do now. Two coats in this seat, it's all, it's all it's getting, it's good enough. It looks alright, you probably can't see that that well up there. But uh, next job, I've also done the. Uh, also given that little coat, one coat of paint so far. I'll give that another coat later on. So, um. Next job is drain down the system. Can't have a break, but I'm going to put a rad there. So I'll take these floorboards up here, move the pipes along, put a rad up on that wall there. But I want to paint that wall. <clears throat> I want to give that one coat, first of all, of the finished coat, what's going on there. Give one or two coats here. The other coat, I can't remember what colour it is, we've got a paint hanging around there somewhere. Give it a couple of coats first, let it dry. That do me and me, I want to be red, touch it up a little bit. I'll get the rad on really, and then paint all that wall, I think. Let the ceiling dry a little bit more, do a little bit of filling, and then um, get the rad on, and start painting the walls then, and then get the um, wallpaper up. Probably be working late tonight, I think it's Saturday, as I say, carp's coming in a few days, so I'm, so I'm up against it at the moment. Um, got a skirt to go down yet, and the wallpaper on the wall. So, um, yeah, all good fun. Um, be cool in the evening, so I'm working late tonight, probably. Saturday, isn't it? Sunday, I won't. Well, I've done it too much as well. We'll see. Shattered. So, quick little update people, so on top of this again. Um, I don't want to mention the heat, but it's bloody hot. But what I'll do, I'll just give you a quick spin around. If you can see there on your left, it's been painted one coat, and we've got the brackets on the radiator. So the red's going on there. You can see the brackets there, it's all red there. And we're giving that all one coat of paint, and we're cutting it at the top. Ceiling's done, so I'm just going to start now on this wall, get that painted, that's going to be wallpapered. I want to cut in and get that painted two coats, then come back to this one, do a couple of coats on that. We're getting there. Right, we're back. Good morning. Today's job, um, it's Sunday day, so we've got all day on the job today. Well, I'll spin the camera around and show you. We've got one coat of paint on all the walls. There. All right there. All the way around there. Apart from the back walls, we have wallpaper. So today's job. I'll try to come up and show you the radiator. Um, we've got a mask up the windows, we've corked in around the windows. So what we've done so far, we've corked, corked in around the decorated cork around the windows, which is this. The floor hasn't been screwed down yet. So decorate the cork around the windows. And there. And then we're gonna Mask, mask and tape on here, paint all this again, and then meanwhile we're still doing the radiator. Well, we're starting the radiator last night. The radiator's fixed to the wall now there. And what we're gonna do, the pipe work under is a bloody mess. Okay. Look how close that is to the bloody floorboard block, like it's in the middle. So that's gotta be cut off there. So we're gonna put a pipe down there, pipe down there. This one, that one there can come completely out, put a drain down there, put an elbow in there, and up. This one here, I'm gonna just cap it, cut it, cut it here somewhere, cap it off, put a T in there, to that, and that'll be the red plumbed in. And then I've got to tie this floorboard up, because it's a bloody mess. Look at these pipes, it's awful. It's a mess. So, I'll do that then, and then I'll we'll get a skirt on. I might get a skirt on first. First job, mask up the windows. Well, actually, I open the windows, get some air, mask up the windows. It's going to be wallpaper, probably do it tomorrow. 
Let's come up nice, look. First job, mask up the windows. And now I think I might get a skirt, get another coat of paint, and then get a skirt on. I'm gonna take that red off, I think, first. Paint it all up and get that skirt on first. I'll put the red on, I think. Before I go any further. So, I'm gonna crack on with that now. Right, I'm gonna get all that now. Windows right, and get some fresh air in. I'm the windows down, windows down. Clean all the dust off, mask them up. Outside out, and they've got the tired this complete floor. Look at this mess on here, look, it's getting out of hand. Can't work like that. Just so many problems, so many shit's up downstairs, but um, we will get rid of all this plaster, all this crap, clean the floor up, and then we're ready to get the skirt in and stuff like that. So we're getting there. It's the last full day today, and I'm back at work, so I can do, I might do the wallpaper tomorrow evening. But um, just all the cheap wallpaper kids do that. Hopefully that'll be it. It's looking good, I'm getting it. A little bit of filling can do as well. Knock up some filler. All right, so the plan is now, I've drained downstairs. That's just air being sucked out of there. Because we're in a house, the top lock pipe has been drained, but I've not fully drained it. So I should be able to put a T in there connect it up without any leakage. That's the idea. So we'll get that, we'll get that one in. And then do the same for that one. This part here, that, that doesn't go in, it's just one single part, we'll cut that off, put an elbow and cut up there. Just gotta chop that out there with a bloody chisel, so that's gonna make a noise. So I'm gonna switch the camera off and crack them with that. The wall's looking good, I'm pleased with it. So that's the plumbing done, bit of a mess, but it's come out all right. JD speed fit, fittings, two up there, elbow there, and elbow there. So hopefully we'll put the inhibitor in, tighten it all up a bit more, and off we go. My son's just doing the um, architrave for me, help me out, because we're up against it at the minute. Just got to do some white paint from there, keep it to white around the top edge. Um, just got to peel off the masking tape, because we don't have a coat here before the paint is too. Oh. Oh, cool. Pull it away like that, that's it. And then we have a tidy up, get the skirting board on. But that plan has come out all right. And uh, I'll cap that off there, tea in there, tea in there, and then um, put your hip it up in, in the top there, and then seal it all up. It should be all right. We've had a second coat. And I think we'll be all right for um, the carpet in a couple of days time. So, it's been a busy few days, but I think we've smashed it out of the park. It clears room out now, get the floorboards down. I'll tell you what, I'm well pleased, get the skirting on. And I think tomorrow night, paint the skirting, paint the architrave and the, and the um, window boards. And then the uh, night after, maybe Tuesday evening, do the old wallpapering. And then Wednesday, carpet fitted. <laughs> Done. All right, that's Sunday finish. It has been tough. Been a long, long day. Didn't quite finish the skirt. I'll show you around what we've done. And the radiator's fitted. Check, check with the leaks. Put an inhibitor in the rack downstairs. So I couldn't get in this one. Put in a towel wrap downstairs. Refilled it, bled all the rats. Um, started fixing the skirt in. So. Yeah, made good to see there's a few marks I've seen this, I made it on the ceiling and I'll show you the skirt and I'll have to show you the uh, skirt and just got to do some caulking and finishing, filling in, um, cork it, paint it, cork, it goes on. So, um, there's the architrave over there, got to repaint that triangle a bit there, architrave there, um, architrave skirt in there, sorry, and, uh, just got a couple more links to do. Red's on there. I'll leave that floorboard up, I think, for now. Just keep an eye on for leaks and that for another day. Oh. Um, that's it. That's Sunday night done. It's five or six o'clock. It starts getting dark a earlier now, so um, I'll go downstairs, whack all the tools in the shed, unplug everything, because we've left some tools out. The room's getting a bit clearer, so... Um, 
So I've only got sort of Monday night and Tuesday night to do a bit, and then the club is turning up. So uh, I'll have to get the skirt and finish tomorrow night, cork it in, finish it, paint it, and then maybe wallpaper Tuesday night. It should, should be possible. I want to put some screws, global screws in the floor, tighten this bloody floor up. Um, just about going to do it, I reckon. Up against it though. I mean, you can cut the, we've been using the electric saw, you can cut the um, skirting by hand up here. We did a little bit up here. I only got scrub it's only got a chamfer on it, so it's nothing fancy. Let's get your two next down there, a little next down there. Oh. I should have said put the skirt and cover it back really. I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching, people. See you in the next video. The next one should be the, the last, second or last video, I reckon. Get the skirting done in the next video, I think. Get it painted. Caught the in the sandy, put the floor back down, tighten the floor back, and then the final video will be the carpet. And the, oh, I've got to be able to do wallpaper here as well. Get off, blimey.